I'm with Coach Alvarez. This week we are going to be doing three activities. Two of them will be repeated from last week. We'll be doing our hand-eye coordination where we're going to be practicing our catching and throwing. So make sure you have a ball or stuffed animal or something small that you can throw for the first activity. The second one is going to be an I Spy Challenge where you're going to be doing some fitness fun. And the third one is going to be our Crab Walk Relay. Some of us didn't get a chance to do it last week because our class was cut short. So I wanted to give you an opportunity to try that again this week, all right? So go ahead and get your supplies for your first activity. You need a ball, something small that you can throw up in the air and catch. During this station, you will practice hand-eye coordination through tossing, tracking, and catching. Hand-eye at home. Go to a safe space with your object and copy the moves. The first skill we'll practice is a one-handed toss, track, and catch. Grab the ball with your left hand and toss it above your head. Follow the ball with your eyes and catch it with the same hand. After you've practiced with your left hand, switch to your right hand to practice the skill. Ooh, pretty good! Next, we have a toss, clap, clap, catch. Toss the ball above your head and clap two times quickly before you catch the ball again. To take the challenge to the next level, toss the ball above your head and clap behind your back. Yeah, dude! Mm -hmm. You can also toss the ball above your head and then tap your opposite shoulder before catching the ball again. Left hand toss, tap your right shoulder, left hand catch. Then switch. Right hand toss, tap your left shoulder, then right hand catch. Right toss, tap left, right catch. Hmm, oh yeah, I got a good one for you this time. Toss the ball, tap your opposite heel behind your back, and then catch the ball with the same hand. Left hand toss, tap your right heel, left hand catch. Nice! Now we gotta switch to the other hand though. Toss the ball up with your right hand, tap your left heel behind your back, and then catch with your right hand. Right hand toss, tap left, right hand catch. Right hand toss, left heel tap, right hand catch. Yeah, buddy! Now for the last challenge, you're gonna toss the ball above your head and catch it behind your back. And then toss the ball from behind your back over your head to catch it in front again. Now, after you've successfully caught the ball behind your back a few times, try and toss the ball back over your left or right shoulder before you catch it. Huh? Practice time! Copy the moves and don't drop the object. The first skill we'll practice is a one-handed toss, track, and catch. Grab the ball with your left hand and toss it above your head. Follow the ball with your eyes and catch it with the same hand. After you've practiced with your left hand, switch to your right hand to practice the skill. Don't forget to follow the object closely with your eyes to practice your tracking skills. Ooh, pretty good! Next, we have a toss, clap, clap, catch. Toss the ball above your head and clap two times quickly before you catch the ball again. To take the challenge to the next level, Toss the ball above your head and clap behind your back before you catch the ball again. Yeah, dude! Mm -hmm. You can also toss the ball above your head and then tap your opposite shoulder before catching the ball again. Left hand toss, tap your right shoulder, left hand catch.
then switch. Right hand toss, tap your left shoulder, then right hand catch. Right toss, tap left, right catch. Hmm, oh yeah, I got a good one for you this time. Toss the ball, tap your opposite heel behind your back, and then catch the ball with the same hand. Left hand toss, tap your right heel, left hand catch. Nice! Now we gotta switch to the other hand though. Toss the ball up with your right hand. Tap your left heel behind your back and then catch it with your right hand. Right hand toss, tap left, right hand catch. Right hand toss, left heel tap, right hand catch. Buddy. Now for the last challenge, you're going to toss the ball above your head and catch it behind your back. And then toss the ball from behind your back over your head to catch it in front again. Don't forget to follow the object closely with your eyes to practice your tracking skills. Now, after you've successfully caught the ball behind your back a few times, Try and toss the ball back over your left or right shoulder before you catch it. Great job! Now let's rest and recover. Skills check. Copy the moves and don't drop the object. Keep up and let's get ready. Remain in your personal fitness area while working at the station. Go! The first skill we'll practice is a one-handed toss, track, and catch. Grab the ball with your left hand and toss it above your head. Follow the ball with your eyes and catch it with the same hand. After you've practiced with your left hand, switch to your right hand to practice the skill. Ooh, pretty good! Next, we have a toss, clap, clap, catch. Toss the ball above your head and clap two times quickly before you catch the ball again. To take the challenge to the next level, toss the ball above your head and clap behind your back before you catch the ball again. Dude, mm-hmm. <laughs> you can also toss the ball above your head and then tap your opposite shoulder before catching the ball again. Left hand toss, tap your right shoulder, left hand catch, then switch. Right hand toss, tap your left shoulder, then right hand catch. Right toss, tap left, right catch. Hmm, oh yeah, I got a good one for you this time. Toss the ball, tap your opposite heel behind your back, and then catch the ball with the same hand. Left hand toss, tap your right heel, left hand catch. Nice! Now we gotta switch to the other hand though. Toss the ball up with your right hand, tap your left heel behind your back, and then catch with your right hand. Right hand toss, tap left, right hand catch. 
right hand toss, left heel tap, right hand catch. Yeah, buddy. Now for the last challenge, you're going to toss the ball above your head and catch it behind your back. And then toss the ball from behind your back over your head to catch it in front again. Now, after you've successfully caught the ball behind your back a few times, try and toss the ball back over your left or right shoulder before you catch it. Awesome practice, dudes! Now remember, you can practice this hand-eye coordination activity at home with all sorts of different weighted and shaped objects you have lying around the house. Now stay safe and stay active. Alright guys, so for the second game, you guys are going to be playing an I Spy game. So a picture is going to pop up, it's going to be a Thanksgiving picture, and you need to notice all the details in the picture. How many are in the background, what color is in the scene, uh, what are they doing, what are they picking up, what do they have in their hand, things like that. So make sure you look at all the details in the picture, a question is going to pop up on the screen, and then depending on what your answer is, you will do the answer the exercise that matches the answer that you feel is correct for your question. Okay, after your 30 seconds of exercise is complete, then the real answer will be revealed and you'll see if you got it correct. All right, so get ready to have fun, focus, and pay attention to those pictures. You gotta look at all the clues. All right, ready, go. All right, the I Spy Thanksgiving Challenge. When each Thanksgiving video appears, you will have 15 seconds to try and remember as much of it as you can. Focus on the details. After 15 seconds, the video will vanish and a question will pop up. Shop, show your answer by completing the exercise for 30 seconds. After exercising for 30 seconds, the correct answer will appear. See how many you can get right and have fun. All right, so here's your first picture. Pay attention to all the details in the background and the foreground. You have five seconds. How many people are standing behind the turkey? If you think three, then you'll be doing front kicks. If four, then you'll be doing side to side shuffles. How many toes does the turkey have? If you think three, you're doing jump ropes. If you think four, then you're doing side to side leg hops. What color is the sky behind Snoopy? If you think pink, then jumping jacks. If you think blue, then you are running in place.
What color is the turkey's headband? If you think red, then you're doing mountain climbers. Green, you're doing knee push-ups. What is the turkey eating? Corn, then you're doing burpees. Fruit, then squat jumps. How many candles are on the table? If you think three, then you're doing straight kicks. If you think two, then you're doing finger crawl out. What color is the woman's robe? If you think purple, you're doing flutter kicks. If you think red, then you're doing crab, opposite arm touch. Are there green beans on the plate? If you think no, you're doing star jump. If yes, you're doing plank jacks. All right, for our final game today, it is going to be a crab walk relay race with Coach Gilardi. He's gonna show you how to do it, and then I will give you a minute win it challenge to try it yourself. So these are the items that you're gonna need. You're gonna need a box or a bin that you can put your things inside. You're gonna need about five different cones that you can jump over, so something flat to the ground. And then you're gonna need about five things for you to carry across to the other side, balancing on your stomach while you crab walk. So they can be small paper balls or small little toys that you can lay on your belly, okay? So five cones to jump over, five things to lay on your belly, and a basket or bin to put them in. Ready? Go ahead and get those things. Okay, so you should be getting your items. You need five small cones that you can jump over. 
You'll need a basket or a bin, and then five or six small items that you can carry across the room while you do your crab walk. Welcome to the Fizz at Home. We are going to do an activity called Crab Walk Relay. This is going to work on your upper body and lower body strength and endurance. Now the equipment you need. Uh, since we don't have cones, I'm using a sneaker as a cone. And then 10 feet away, 10 feet away I have another sneaker as a cone. Okay? Over here I have an empty basket but you can use a cardboard box. And then right in front of me, I have six items, soft items or items that are low to the ground, okay? And I have six of them. I have socks, slippers, I have a book, and they're about one foot away from each other, okay? And then over here, I have another basket where I have all these small toys that I've taken from my kids. I even have a sock, okay? You want to have about 10 to 12 items, okay? Now, here's how you play. You have to get into a crab walk position, which is hands behind you, feet in front of you, lifting your bottom up. The key is to keep your bottom off the ground. You can't drag it, okay? You have to lift up. Now, you start with your hands behind the line. You grab one item, place it in your lap, and you have to move like a crab. You can go forward, sideways, or backwards. Up to you. If your item falls down, pick it back up, place it back in your lap, and continue on. Once your hands or your feet are next to the sneaker, you can take the item and drop it into the basket. Then you get up, feet together, and you have to do a jump over every item. One, two, three, four, five, six. You then pick up another item, get back into a crab walk, and then continue. See how many items you can get in one minute. Let's see how Coach Gelardi does. turn I am going to put on a one minute to win it challenge for you to try to do the crab walk so get into your starting position because as soon as I finish this I will be starting your minute to win it countdown so get into your starting spot make sure you have everything set to where it needs to be all right good luck have fun the game begins in three two one all right, you guys want to get as many items as you can across to the other side doing your crab walk. One item at a time. All right, go, 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 you got this. Make sure you hop back across over your cones before starting a new round. Go, go, go. 